This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the atomic number and mass number. We'll start by looking at the nuclear symbol notation. In the nuclear symbol notation, X is the symbol of the element, Z is the atomic number, and A is the mass number. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom. The mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Next, we look at some examples, starting with carbon-12. The atomic number of carbon is 6, which means it has 6 protons in its nucleus. The mass number is 12, which is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus. If we subtract the atomic number from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons in the nucleus. So carbon-12 has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. In a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Therefore, there are 6 electrons in an atom of carbon-12. The next example is oxygen-16. The atomic number is 8, which means there are 8 protons in the nucleus of the atom. The mass number is 16, so if we subtract the atomic number from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons. So oxygen-16 has 8 protons and 8 neutrons. Because it's a neutral atom, the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. Therefore, it has 8 electrons. And the last example is chlorine-35. The atomic number is 17, which means it has 17 protons in the nucleus. If we subtract the atomic number from the mass number, we get the number of neutrons, which is 18. So chlorine-35 has 17 protons and 18 neutrons. It's a neutral atom, so the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons. Next we look at ions. We have a calcium ion on the left and a bromide ion on the right. The calcium ion has a 2 positive charge and the bromide ion has a 1 negative charge. The atomic number of calcium is 20, therefore it has 20 protons in the nucleus. The mass number is 40, so 20 minus 40 gives us 20 neutrons. Because it's a 2 positive ion, it's lost 2 electrons, so we subtract 2 from the number of protons to give us 18 electrons. And next, the bromide ion. The atomic number of bromine is 35, so that means it has 35 protons in the nucleus. The mass number is 81, so 81 minus 35 gives us 46 neutrons. Because it's a 1 negative ion, it's gained 1 electron, so we add 1 to the number of protons, to give us 36 electrons. 